Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are starting a new playlist on feature selection and I've explored around 10 to 12 different feature selection techniques which are very very important and which may be very very useful when you are actually working in data science project. So this is the first tutorial on feature selection and in this video we are actually trying to see that how we can drop constant features, okay? And if you don't know about feature selection guys, it is the part of the life cycle of a data science project after feature engineering then where we do a lot of things like where we handle the missing values do normalization where we take care of imbalanced data set the next step that we do is something called as feature selection now feature selection is very very handy because there is something called as curse of dimensionality that basically means that suppose if in your data set you have around 500 features 600 features at that particular case if you just try to train your model with those data set it may not perform well. So we need to basically perform feature selection. And in that feature selection, we have various techniques. So the first technique, and again, we'll be starting with this, that is nothing but dropping constant features. And similarly, uh, if I consider guys in this feature selection, there will be around 10 to 12 videos. So let's go ahead and let's try to see an example. So in this step, we will be removing the features which have constant feature, which are actually not important for solving the problem statement. That basically means it is not important for the machine learning algorithm to have that feature in short, right? So first here, what I'll do is that I'll just take a small example and then we will take a huge data set and then we'll try to solve that particular problem. Now in this uh, case, you can see that guys, I am creating a data frame by using pandas and I hope it is very much simple for you if you're following me from long time. So pd.data frame here, I'm creating a column A, column B, column C, column D. Now in this column A and B, I have different, different values, right? In this column C, you can see that they are all same values like zeros and in the D, all the values are actually having one. So let me just first of all, create this particular data set. Now, if I go and see this data dot head, you will be able to see this particular data frame and you here you can see definitely C and D are having just constant feature, both of this particular columns, right? Now we'll try to remove this particular column. Now in order to remove this column, we are going to use a library which is called as, from a SQL we are going to use a class which is called as variance threshold. Always remember guys, whenever you are actually using any classes from SQL it is always good to have a look of that specific class, what that functionality is done. And again, for that you can refer the SkyKit learn page. So here you can see a uh, variance threshold. It is nothing but feature selected that removes all low variance feature. Okay, all low variance feature. Inside this, there is a threshold parameter. Now inside this threshold parameter, if you go give 0.0, .0 that basically means it is going to check the feature which is having zero variance. Okay, now see in this next statement. This feature selection algorithm looks only at features X, not the desired output Y. Okay, S and thus can be used for unsupervised machine learning. I'll not say machine learning, but unsupervised learning. In short, if I give the threshold value as 0.0, then what it will do is that it will go and check for each and every column which is having variance zero. Okay. That basically means whichever column is having the variance as zero, it will remove it. Now in this particular case, you can see that C and D are almost having the same values in that particular column. And if you try to find out the mean, the mean of this particular column will also be zero. The variance will be zero and the standard deviation will also be zero. In this particular column also, it will be almost same because all the values are same, right? So in short, if you see over here, this variance threshold will be removing all the low variance features. In this particular case, if I provide my threshold as zero, it will remove the uh, zero variance features. I can say in that way. In this case, I'll just write it over here. It will remove, it will remove zero variance features. That basically means whichever feature is actually having zero variance, it is going to remove. And again, you can also change this value. You can make it 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. 0 that is actually called as quasi constant features dropping, right? So we basically say that, okay, some of the feature may have some kind of low variance that can also be removed because that may not be that important. But again, we'll focus right now in dropping the constant feature. So we'll try to apply this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just use from sklearn.feature selection, import variance threshold. And then I'm going to initialize this variance threshold with threshold is equal to zero. This is what we are doing over here, right? It is the same thing. You can see over here, we are almost doing the same thing right so it is pretty much simple by default threshold value will be zero 
okay so here we take it we we create an object of variance threshold with threshold is equal to 0 and then we do fit on data okay this is the fit on the data that usually happens and here you may be considering where is the y feature guys let me just consider these are all my input features i don't have to worry about that right now when i'm solving the bigger data set i'll show you that you have to first do a train test split and then you probably need to apply on the training data set only okay now here you go uh, uh, very, uh where underscore thresh dot fit on data so when you do this when you do this what happens is that next here you will be seeing that i will take out all my uh constant columns that basically means which all column got affected by this which all columns are going to get removed we'll get it over here after this so to get it what i'm going to do first of all i'll go just execute it and here if i write fair and where underscore threshold dot get underscore support get underscore support you will be now getting the value like true true false false this basically indicates that wherever my value is true true right that basically means this a and b see in the order that we are getting there are totally four features so a and b are getting true that basically means we do not have to remove this feature this basically indicates that a and b are non-zero variants whereas c and d which is actually given as false over here is basically zero variance now what we are going to do is that guys we are going to just pick up those columns that are actually having this false value because that those are the columns that needs to be removed right because this both column are actually zero variance column itself and, and we can consider those as constant features which we need to drop it right because it is not that important for our model to be trained so what we are going to do over here is that we are going to write a simple list comprehension where I'm saying that if I just execute this, right? If I just execute this, you see this. If I execute this, and if I write like this over here, you'll be able to see that I'm getting AB. So other than AB, so here what I'm doing, column for column in data.columns, if column not in data.columns with respect to A and B. Other than A and B, all the columns will be actually stored in this particular variable. That is what this simple list comprehension actually does. So you have to make sure, just go through this, see. I'm iterating through all the columns and I'm saying that if that column does not exist in these two columns, right? Then we are going to keep that in this particular uh, variable. So once I do this and once I execute this, now see this, if I execute this, I will be getting two columns length, right? Two columns that basically means this is nothing but C and D. If I want to iterate and see what are the columns present inside, I can basically write for feature in constant underscore column print feature. So I'm iterating and you can see that I'm having C and D. And finally to drop it, we can actually use data.drop and whatever constant columns we have, we are going to take it over here and make sure that you give the axis as one. Because by default the axis is zero in this drop functionality, right? When you do this, you'll be able to see that we don't have C and D column. So like this, you could see that just by using this amazing class, which is called as variance threshold, we are able to drop the constant feature. But again, we need to actually work with the bigger data set. So the type of data set that I've actually taken, it is something called as Santander customer satisfaction data set. If you go and see the data set, guys, the data set is around 612 KB. Uh, and they are somewhere around uh, 370 column, 371 columns, and there are so many records, okay? So I'll try to actually perform to in this particular data set. The data set link will be given over here itself. So let's, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to save it over here so that you can practice it. And again, guys, you need to practice with different, different data set because here, here I have shown you, right? It is very simple to see that you had C and D data uh, features that are having some constant features. But in this kind of data set, it is very difficult because there may be many number of rows, right? Now, in this particular case, what I'm actually doing is that, first of all, I'm importing pandas as PD. I'm doing from sklearn.feature selection variance threshold. Now, see this. Once I download this centerdate.csv, okay? See guys, when you when you download this data set, this name will be train. Convert this into something like uh, Santander.csv, right? And number of rows that I'm going to take is somewhere around 10,000 rows, okay? And there are many rows. I think there are more than 1 lakh rows. But again, to make it quicker, I'm just taking 10,000 rows so that it works quickly and I will be able to show you an example. So I'll, I'm going to execute this 
and i will be showing you the df dot shape is around having 10000 rows and 371 columns uh if i write a go and see my df dot head this is my df dot head you can see the target feature over here right now in the next step what i'm doing i'm dividing this into my independent and dependent features always remember we need to do this because as i so said you that variance threshold needs to be applied only on the independent features as per the documentation right so uh, the desired output is not required because it it nowhere requires uh, to actually find out the zero and non-zero variance and then you'll be able to see that we are actually doing train test split inside the train test split we are actually performing we are creating this x train x test y train and y train y test this is pretty much simple because from scl on dot model selection we are doing this 30 percentage of the test size we have actually taken so here you will be able to see that i'm getting 7000 rows 370 uh, features because one feature is actually gone into my dependent feature now let's apply the variance threshold so initially we had around 370 features in my independent feature now when i apply a variance threshold with threshold is equal to zero and when i do the fit on x train you have to do the fit on x train not an x test in x test you will be doing transform okay because this is just done done on the test training data set to avoid overfitting okay that also you need to remember so when i perform this in this so here you will be seeing that we will be able to apply this and then when i do uh, variance underscore thresh dot get support and if i try to see the total length or sum like this particular length and sum here you can see in the top how i have actually done right these are somewhere around uh, okay there we cannot see it so uh, if i really want to find out that what is the total length or sum i can use the sum where underscore thresh dot get support this is nothing but i'll be getting 284 columns that basically means guys uh, out of 370 you know we are able to get 284 columns right now 284 columns if i just go and execute it over here you see this this basically indicates that see this guys there are 284 columns that are having true values and they are what it is 370 minus uh, 284 it will be somewhere around uh, if i just uh, open the calculator 370 minus okay sorry 370 minus 284 so this many features are duplicate or constant features right so here you can actually see if you count go on counting the false you'll be getting somewhere around 84 how i'm saying because i did the sum of this get support i'm getting 284 so wherever true is there that has got counted as one right one two three four like that so uh this was like pretty much amazing because you saw that out of three 370 features 84 features were constant right and just by doing it manually it will be very difficult just for you to understand right so after that again i'm doing the same step i'm finding out all the constant columns by using the same list comprehension and i'm printing the constant columns over here so i have 129 columns over here sorry 186 columns over here and then you'll be able to see for column in constant underscore column if i'm printing it these are all my columns that are having zero uh, variance right so finally what i have to do is that i can just write x underscore train dot drop okay and then here i will be saying that this is my constant columns and i'm going to give my axis equal to one and here we actually get all the columns after getting removed right so this is actually after getting removed and we are having all our features ready with our independent features. So that is how we have removed the drop. We have basically dropped the constant feature. But again, the major and the main library that is actually used is something called as a uh, variance threshold. Again, you can also increase this threshold. Suppose if you just want till 10%. Uh, so at that time, you can write 0.10, right? 0 0.01 like that. But this is a way of dropping the constant feature. So guys, this was the first tutorial on feature selection. Um, and again, there are more 9 to 10 videos that are going to come up. So I hope you like this particular video. All this information will be given in the GitHub description. So please make sure that you follow this. And again, then this is a new playlist on feature selection itself, where I'll be covering everything. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all. Bye-bye.